Working out in your garden can be rewarding, but a long day of pulling weeds or moving heavy plants can be hard on your back. Joining us now to talk about ways to prevent injuries is Dr. Richard Bush of Bush Chiropractic. Good to see you again. Good to see you as well. Thank yeah. you for having me. So as we're headed out into our yards to do all of this fun work, what should people keep in mind as they're heading out? You know, I, I think that it's that old ad adage of, uh, of, of an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And so if we start thinking about some of the things that we can do to avoid problems, first of all, I, we talk about it all the time, but stretching prior to actually doing a lot of this stuff. Um, in, in some cases, making sure that you're, that you're actually you know, working on a, on, on a little bit higher um, uh, um, planters as opposed to all the way down on the ground. Um, using a, a, a wheelbarrow or a, a garden cart are, are some really good things to do as well. And then along with that, not trying to do it all at once. You know, the big thing that we all try to do is get everything under control and we're just gonna take care of it all right now, especially with the rainy weather we've been having. It's very difficult sometimes to get out. So um, making sure that you're doing all of that stuff. Uh, also along with that, um, making sure that, you know, using some knee pads or, or even a, a, a cushions underneath your knees so that you don't aggravate and injure your knees. Um, uh, you know, and, and along with that, you know, even wearing a back support at sometimes might, might actually be a good idea as well. And recruiting friends or children to help you. Recruiting <laughs> children is always my favorite one yes. because then I don't have to do it all myself. That's right. Now, if you feel like you have overextended yourself a little bit, what should you do? You know, the, the first thing is just taking a rest. But along with that, things like icing are very important. Um, and along with that, getting, getting back to the stretching, you know, you can stretch before and you can stretch afterwards just to make sure that, that those muscles are loose and, and, and we have a lot less uh, of a long-term type of a problem afterwards. Now, how do you know if it's an injury that you really need to go in and see somebody? You know, if it's something that sticks around for more than a, a day or two um, and if the pain continues to get worse, obviously those are signs that we need to take a little closer look. Um, so in those situations, we see those patients all the time where they come in, we may do a, 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 an exam, and, and in some cases, we may even shoot some x-rays of their neck or their back or both, depending on what they actually specifically have injured. That's just the easiest way to keep things under control. And then in, in most of those cases, you know, when you overdo it out, uh, out in the, the yard and everything else, you can recover from that really pretty quickly. But when we get into the more, the, the more serious types of conditions like disc conditions and that type of thing, then it usually takes a lot more work and, and, and there's a lot more involved in it. Yeah, and your body's telling you, you can feel it. <laughs> you have to listen to your body is what Absolutely. you have to do. Absolutely. Dr. Bush, thank you so much for thank coming in. Much, you can learn more about Bush Chiropractic by calling the number there on your screen. Now, Pat, we'll send it back to you.